and it would just be really enjoyable, you know, like, Gatekeeper is one of my favorite rides, so it would, well, not one of my favorites, but it's still a good ride. Anyways, it, it was, it just could be just as enjoyable, who knows? I mean, it would just be a pretty good fit for King's Island, honestly, if you ask me. What it could look like. It's a big coaster that has like a snake dive at the top and at the drop. And possibly a cover roll. Like this just main coaster that you picture to be like really high and fun. It's really enjoyable. So yeah. My second prediction is a hybrid coaster. It could be really fun. I mean, it could have a lot of inversions, a steep drop. It could do special inversions. So, yeah. It could resemble King's Island's older roller coaster. They got rid of Son of Beast. And if you guys know what the Beast is, it's the world's longest wooden coaster at King's Island. pretty much a good ride. And it looks like it can really fit. So yeah. My third prediction is a new version of Vortex. So like new version of Vortex. Vortex. The Revenge or something like that. So it would be maybe a bit taller. I don't know. I don't know if it'd be longer or anything, so. Would it? It would just be really cool, like, to just bring back the memories instead. King Island could possibly do that. Because that would be fun. To bring back the memories of the old coaster. So, yeah, pretty cool, right? My last prediction was a roller coaster like Banshee, but it, the drop turned even more than vertically. 112 degrees. Look, it turns 112 degrees in the first drop. Isn't that cool? At seven inversions, it's just not as long. It's a pretty cool ride, if you ask me. of my roller coaster predictions for King's Island in my vortex replacement prediction.